again, right now the intent is only to blend everything together. There's areas I'm going to come across that I may not like. I'll come back and I'll correct those areas later once the clay has reset and the solvent's no longer present. I'll wait for it to evaporate. Then I'll rework the piece again and if I need to add more, I'll heat up clay and allow it to melt back in so it could adhere to the main body. Normally I'll use them. The hell is that? Normally I'll use gloves on both hands, but I ran out of gloves. I need to pick up some new gloves at Home Depot or so. Eventually, parts of this here, the, the clay, we spent more time with the solvent, would turn into more like a uh, soft paste. Almost like a gel. And you can move that around to fill up the crevices. Once it hardens, it doesn't really retain the same principles as regular clay but it's a little softer side so just go back and uh, apply a little heat to that and use one of your tools to blend it in and you might have to introduce new clay to that section later Sometimes when you do a piece and you apply too much detail to it, you want to come up with this wash and apply it all over the body. And it'll kind of tone everything down and make everything look somewhat uniform.
flip this piece over. Adjust this for you guys. Let's work on the face first. I'm going to cover the whole face with this here, even the eyeballs. The eyeballs consist of little copper BBs. And I temporarily uh, introduced the pupil with the felt tip marker that will be eaten away by the solvent. That is the uh, actual marker. Let's see if anyone has any questions. The music I was playing, I just turned off. It was taking up too much of the uh, computer memory there. I'll have to transfer that music over to my iPod. Those of you that saw the head earlier, well, here you can tell. Let me zoom in on the head so you know what exactly what I'm talking about. Looking at the head, you can tell it's pretty rough right now. You can see all my carving marks. Applying this to it going to blend everything together. We'll just apply. Solve into the suit generously. Give it time to set and slightly I want to say burn, that's what it's doing. It's, it's not so much eluding the uh, clay, but it's you gain a slight burn on it. And then you're able to work your brush to get rid of it. Your carving marks or sculpt marks, whatever you want to call them. Now if this clay was softer and the brush is a little more rigid, you could actually do this here and create somewhat hairlines. But 